you've been in Austin before, right? Yes, I was. We shot What's Eating Gilbert Grape here, which is the first film I ever wrote. And in fact, I ate every night at the diner across the street that's no longer there and had the same meal every night and um, looked at this theater and often came here and saw performances and such. And I never imagined that 26 years later I'd be here with a film with Julia Roberts and my son Lucas in it. I love this town. I love this film festival. I love how it supports writers. I'm primarily a writer. And it's just inspired a lot of writers over the years. It's a great place to come and get recharged. So, so I'm very excited for tonight. Yeah, it's awesome, and you know, there's a lot of buzz about the film. And oh yeah, well, like it's that. the greatest film ever made. Yeah, <laughs> ever. I mean, the, honestly, the be no. It, I'm very proud of the film. We worked very hard on it. I think there are a lot of remarkable films this year. And as I say to people, if you know, find a film to love and love it. And hopefully, Ben is back. Will be one of those films for people this year. And there are a couple films this year that are dealing with some of the same topics yes. that your film deals with. So, talk to me a little bit about like you know, what you're hoping people kind of take away when they watch this film. Well, this is a film, it's a love story about a very hard thing. It's a mother who will do anything and go anywhere to help her son, who's doing his best to turn his life around. It deals with the heroin opioid epidemic, has a lot of comedy in it, but it's, but it's a drama and it's hard hitting. And what I'm hoping is it will expand people's compassion. People who've been through it will recognize themselves. People who haven't been through it, who think those are people that I could never be, realized actually, no, it's all of us. And we're all needing to deal with this very hard thing. And, and, and hopefully so the film will shine a light on the epidemic, on, on resilient families, on a kind of love that doesn't give up, which is I think we need more of in this world. And, and hopefully that will ultimately expand people's compassion. And then real quick, like you said, your son's in this film. He yes. also has another great role in another film this year. Yes, I, I saw it last, last night. night. I yeah, did too. Was Wasn't awesome. it great? It was awesome. It was yeah, so Boy good. Erased. Yeah. Yes. So tell me just a little bit about how that makes you feel, you know, as a dad, seeing your son like it. Well, uh, I'm father of, lucky to be the father of two young men, both of whom do what they love and work hard at it. Uh, Lucas is an actor, and he's in these two films, and I'm so proud of him. I'm proud of him not only for how well he's doing, but mostly I'm proud of how he how he handles himself, how he treats people, how he moves in the world, how he engages in projects that he believes will ultimately make a difference in the world. Boy Erased is an equally important film as Ben is back, about something very timely and urgent. And so I'm very proud that he really sees his work as an opportunity to be a part of stories that can lighten the world, brighten the world. And holding his own against Academy Award winners yes, isn't too bad either. He does. He, 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 he gets right in there. And um, I said to him once, well, the big goal in life is to never be the most talented person in the room. I succeed daily at that. And he is in that situation often. He's working with the best, Julia Roberts, Nicole Kidman. And, and yet he's able to hang in there with them and learn from them. And they grow together. And it's pretty amazing.